When they hear that fire alarm, the rescue team stays cool and calm. If you're stuck, give them a shout. They'll be there to help you out. Fire and Sam is on the way with the rescue team. Sam is gonna save the day with the rescue team. Cause they're brave to the core. They are the heroes next door. morning in Ponty Pandy when Mike Flood discovered something very strange in his kitchen. Mm. Oh, what a beautiful morning! Oh no! Help! It's Mike Flood here! I, I need the Y Files investigators! I've got a mysterious mystery on my hands! A mysterious mystery? That's what we do! Oh, I am so excited, Norman! A new Y-Files investigation! Oh, the Y-Files investigators! You're not a moment too soon. So, Mike, tell us what happened. Last night, I had a really strange dream about the full moon. And when I got up, I found this. A puddle of milk, a half-eaten sausage roll, and these mysterious paw prints. Ooh, and this! Hmm, that looks like fox fur. Which, along with all these other clues, can mean <gasps> only one thing. <gasps> what? Mike? You're a werefox! I'm a werewolf, what are you? A werefox. It means when the moon is full, you turn into a fox monster that raids the fridge and eats everything in it. Oh, no! Helen's put a plump, tasty chicken in the fridge for dinner tomorrow. What am I going to do? I need to be stopped! Don't worry, Mike. Try and relax and leave this to Agent Price and Agent Sparks. Oh, OK. I'll pop upstairs and leave you to it. Right, let's see if there are any other clues. Hmm, interesting. Mike must have been reading this book about the legendary spooky creatures of Ponty Pandy before he went to bed. Anna, come and look at this. We're fox paw prints, but they seem to be heading into town. Follow those prints. So, Dillis. You're saying a fox has been eating cheese from your fridge? Yes, Penny. That hairy creature had his scratchy little paws all over my gorgonzola. Hmm. I think the best thing to do is try to catch it in this fox-friendly cage. Then we can release it a long way from town. You're going to need a bigger cage. This cage is perfectly big enough for a fox, Norman. But the creature you are looking for is not just any fox. It's a weird fox. Oh, Is my face changing? Am I turning into a fox monster? <gasps> oh no! It's gonna be dark soon, and I have to save Helen's plump, tasty chicken from my ravenous wear fox appetite. I have to get as far away from that chicken as possible! You are giving me the wobbly cobbles. Norman, will you please stop that and tell us why you think Mike Flood is a well, well, whaty hoo hoo? A were fox, because there were paw prints all over Mike's kitchen, and something, some strange creature, had knocked over the milk and eaten half a sausage roll. And I found some fox fur. It sounds like it might just be a regular fox. There have been sightings all over town, and they've been going into places and eating the food. They ate my gorgonzola. Mike, why 
was reading a scary book when he fell asleep last night. That might have caused him to have that strange dream he mentioned. That is so boring. Oh, this boat is very rusty. I'll go and get a new one. I need to get as far away from that chicken as I can! Oh, no! Someone's taken the Ponty Pandy Flyer! Stop! Stop! Wait a minute. They can't stop. I've still got the brake boat in my hand. Oh, no. Not sure the brake lever should do that. Now I can't stop the train. Ooh. I think I better call the rescue team. Our Gwyr Fox is driving the Monty Pandy Flyer and it hasn't got any brakes. A weird fox is driving the Ponty Panty Flyer and it hasn't got any brakes. Maybe there is a weird fox after all. One that can drive a train? I'll call Christina for air backup. isn't bolted on. You, you might need this. Lowering harnesses now. Start lowering you two now. Roger that, Christina. Stay away! I'm a wave fox! I can't be trusted! I I don't think you are, Mike. No, what? No, Mike. I just think you've let your imagination get the better of you. Now, come on. from that plump, tasty chicken, and then the fox got it anyway. It all happened because you were reading that scary book. We think it gave you some strange dreams. Yes, and, uh, I might have told you that you turned into a were-fox. <laughs> Oopsie. But I really shouldn't have driven away in Gareth's train. Well, you don't have to worry about foxes anymore, Mike. The next chicken you buy will be safe. I'll put this up in your garden, Mike. It makes a sound that foxes don't like. It's a safe and friendly way to keep foxes off your property. Well, it was another strange case for the Y-Files. But if we learned one thing today, it was that Mike Flood shouldn't read scary stories before his bedtime. <laughs> <laughs>